Hey, what's going on, guys? Kane 69 Gamers here, and welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed 3. Um, all right, so our boat is getting attacked right now by we don't really know who yet, but whoever was following us is attacking us. So right now, um, we need to help the captain kind of basically protect the boat. But right now, we're securing the rigging on the ropes to prevent the ship from sinking. <laughs> Which is very important in its own sense. Um, I guess, where are we going now? Is, is the captain up here? Oh no, there's more rigging up here, okay. Oh my god. We just tied that one up too, I think. I'm, I'm going, I'm going. As if just like pulling the rope would just like like make it better and fix the whole thing. Like, as if that would ever happen. But I guess in I mean boats weren't like really that sophisticated back then. So, I mean, I guess you can kind of believe it. Deploy the sail. So, yeah, we need to d deploy the sail. Oh my god, of course. How did he get down there so fast? He was just up there cutting the rope. Oh dear. Yeah, this boat this boat might ship. Sink, sorry. This boat this boat might ship. Oh god, no. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh it's James! James, I got you, man, I got you. They say it's an optional objective, but they give you so much time to save him. Like 40 seconds. I think you can save him in 40 seconds. Like, realistically. Wow, yeah, it's pretty pretty bad out there. And now it's clear skies. Day 72, so yeah, time's definitely moving along. He's been out there for a long time. Meet, meet the captain at the bow. <laughs> With the bow, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, hopefully he's like grateful for us basically saving his boat. He better be grateful. We saved his ass. Make ready for our arrival, men! Arrival? I see no land, only this interminable fog. The gulls tell us all we need to know. Climb into the crow's nest and you'll see. Wow. 72 days, wow, yeah, that's a long time. Alright, so we gotta climb up to the nest to see, uh, see the land that we are apparently approaching. And yeah, that is a really long uh, boat ride. Basically, right, like, yeah, right, right across the Atlantic Ocean. London to Boston. That is one long boat ride, especially on a boat like this, uh, this slow.
Yeah, we're getting close. Awesome. Welcome to Assassin's Creed 3, everybody. Oh man, we're officially in. We are official we have officially begun this game. The major journey is done and we're in Boston. We're in America. The place that we need to be the most. You know, the heart of the revolution. Master Kenway! Master Kenway! Yes, may I help you? Charles Lee, sir. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've been asked to introduce you to the city, help you settle in. Oh, no need, sir. I've arranged for your bags to be delivered to the inn. Awesome, thank you. Are you by any chance John and Isabella's son? One and the same. Your commission is with Edward Braddock, is it not? Aye. But he's yet to reach America, and I figured I might... Well, at least until he arrives, I thought... Yes? Out with it? Forgive me, sir. I had... I had hoped that I might study under you. If I am to serve the Order, I can imagine no better mentor than yourself. Kind of you to say, but I think you overestimate me. Impossible, sir. This way. Oh. Someone stop him! He just stole an apple. Wow. Oh, the red coats. Those dreaded red coats. Boston's quite a lively city. There's all manner of things to see and do. Once you've settled in, I suggest you take some time to walk the streets. Oh, Who knows look at the environment. It's so it's so beautiful. Hold a moment. I need to fetch a few things before we get to work. I'll arrange for horses while you do that. Find a general store. Alright, let's take a look see at the map. So yeah, there's nothing on the map yet, it's just blank. Alright. Find a general store, which is right here. Or around here. The markets. Wow, there's a lot of thieves around here. Oh, Benjamin Frank- that, That's Benjamin- uh, uh, Benjamin Franklin. This accursed city will be the death of me. You seem troubled, friend. That's because I am. Greatly so, in fact. What's happened? I was robbed. The old Balkan file. Though I've managed to restore what's mine, I fear it's ruined. You mean the book? This is no ordinary book. It's an almanac. The first I ever wrote. <clears throat> Benjamin Franklin, pleased to meet you. Patham Kenway. You must be new to Boston. Why do you say that? You're still possessed of virtue. <laughs> to stop and help an old lout like myself. I... I don't mean to impose, but... You seem a spry fellow. Should you happen to find my missing pages, I'll reward you. Look, I'm not sure if I... It's all right, all right. If you have the time, hurrah! If not, no harm done. The thing is useless in its current state anyway. But, should you somehow manage to restore it, you'll find me inside that general store over there. Well, that was interesting. Alrighty. So, here's the general store. Let's open it up, see what we can do here. Buy a sword and a pistol. Awesome. I'm here would like. Alrighty. Buy. Normal sword. Very crucial for a man like ourself. And uh, sunlock pistol. Fantastic. Hundred and fifty pounds. Follow lead to the green dragon on horseback. One, 
We ride for the Green Dragon Tavern. The proprietors are eccentric, but the rooms are spacious and they do not pry. Have you been told why it is I've come to Boston? No. Master Birch said I should know only as much as you saw fit to share. He sent me a list of names and bade me ensure you could find them. And have you had any luck with that? Aye. William Johnson waits for us at the Green Dragon. How well do you know him? Not well, but he saw the order's mark oh. and did not hesitate to come. Prove yourself loyal to our cause, and you may yet know our plans as well. I should like nothing more, sir. Green Dragon Tavern. Excellent. Full synchronization once again. Nice. We've been doing that quite often lately. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, if you guys know the way that I normally do things, I don't do side missions. The way that I do my Let's Plays, I play games that the way I would normally play them, and the way I normally play them is just the story. I'm not a big fan of... Um, side missions or anything like that. And look at the doggy. How cute. You can just pet animals like that. It's pretty cool. But, um... Oh, red coats. Oh, dear. Um... What? What? Not, what? Oh! It's out on that page. Shit. I was... Oh, God. I still lost it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try and get it. I lost it. But yeah, if you guys know the way I, that I normally do things, I don't do side missions. I don't do anything else besides for the main story itself. So if you guys do not, if you guys like to see more than the story, I would suggest not watching this. If you guys come here for the story, then watch, because that's what you, that's what you're gonna get. Because the story is mainly what, like what I play games to um, get. You lying. Cheating no good, son of a bitch. Perhaps we've come at a bad time. Oh, don't be foolish, dearies. Please, sit. Fancy something to eat? A drink, perhaps? Or is it a bed you require? We've already let rooms here. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, of course. Masters Lee and Kenway, uh, was it? Uh, I'll have your bags brought up. <laughs> Do you require anything further? Only privacy. Polite way of saying to get the like, hell away from me. <laughs> Follow Charles Lee. So this is Charles Lee. He's a pretty key character for the American Revolution. Very historical. Um, he plays a big part in the Revolution. Here's William Johnson. So does he. He's a big revolutional character. Sir, William Johnson. A pleasure. A good lad, if a bit earnest. I'm told you're putting together an expedition. We believe there's a precursor site in the region. I require your knowledge of the land and its people to find it. Sadly, my research has been stolen. Without it, I'm of no use to you. Then we'll find it. Do you have any leads? My associate, Thomas Hickey, has been making the rounds. He's quite good at loosening Thomas. Well, tell me where I can find him. I'll see if I can't speed things up. We've heard rumors of bandits operating from a compound southwest of here. You'll likely find him there. Charles? Sir. We'd best be off. Of course. Alrighty, so we have to go and look for... Uh, William Johnson's helper, Thomas Hickey, um, which he just basically explained. He's kind of getting rid of some unfortunates that is bothering Johnson. So we need to go and look for this Thomas Hickey character and see what we can do about these problems that Johnson is having that Hickey himself is trying to solve at the moment. Um, do the best we can to try and help. There he is over there. Cornfields, fantastic. Thomas.
Thomas Hickey. Who's asking? Haytham Kenway. Is that supposed to yes. mean something? Well, show some respect, boy. Peace, Charles. William Johnson sent us in the hopes we might expedite your search. Don't need no expediting. Don't need none of your fancy London speak, neither. I found the men that done the theft. Then why are you just lazing around? Figuring out how to deal with those varlets. I have an idea. Well, let's hear it. I'll kill the lookout, take up a position behind the guards. Uh, you two, approach from the front. When I open fire on the group, you charge in. We'll have the element of surprise on our side. Half will fall before they've even realized what's happened. Sounds like a good plan to me. Nice. Our first shot with our flintlock pistol. Wait for me to take the first shot. Pick up a musket. All right, let's grab. Grab one of those. Which one should I get? Oh, that's okay. I can only get him. Alright. Man, he hates him such a badass. And no wonder he's, he's Connor's father. Are they trying to run away? Ah, we'll let him get away. Fall back! Fall back! We'll be safe in No mercy. What now? We can blow the door with those. Go on, shoot them. Shoot the doors. I'm sure that'll make such a difference. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, we can actually aim. Oh. All right. Oh, it's a stolen chest that he wants. Okay, I wasn't listening before. So, looks like these guys stole a, a chest from uh, William Johnson, and he wants us to retrieve it. All right, let's let's grab it then while we can. Probably something pretty valuable if he's like willing to go through this trouble. Lay down your weapons, and I'll consider letting you live. I make you the same <laughs> offer. We've no quarrel. I only wish to return this chest to its rightful owner. Nothing rightful about Mr. Johnson. I won't ask again. Agreed. Ow. Yeah, these guys are done. Your kind has no need for books and maps. Who put you up to this? Never seen a person. It's always been dead drops and letters. But they always pay, so we do the jobs. Well, those days are done. Tell your masters I said as much. Who should I say you are? You don't. They'll know. Huh. Hey, Fum. This one's got some shot on him. You might want to be grabbing it. Very blunt. Your pistol being parched. Back to the Green Dragon, then. I need a drink. Defend Lee and Hickey. So we basically just need to escort them out of here, pretty much.